Welcome back to All Things Magical. Today I'd like to give a book review. And today's book I've selected is Lillian's Complete Guide of Correspondences by Sandra Kynes. This is a comprehensive cross-reference reference for pagans and Wiccans. And I find this book is very, uh, not necessarily essential, but very important and very helpful when writing personal um, rituals or even rituals for your coven. This book is 552 pages talking completely about correspondences. Its original publication date was 2013. And this book I'm holding right here is in a six printing as of 2017. Wow, six printing. This has got some good stuff in it. The book is eight and a half by 11, so it's the same size as a sheet of paper. It's about, I'd say about two inches thick. It is paperback. It is, you know, very easy to flip through. It has, it is broken down into approximately seven sections with a, a traditional introduction. And then we have a section for issues, intentions, and powers. So it talks about how we use correspondences and why they're important in ritual. We talk about the plant kingdom, the mineral kingdom, which we know as crystals. Gotta love our crystals. We have the animal kingdom, which we know as our animal totems, our deities, gods, goddesses, and other beings, astrological and time reckoning. In that section, it also includes ogham and runes. And we also have a miscellaneous section. And there we find uh, information specific to elements, directions, colors, energies, chakras, and the tarot. Um, she talks about how to use the book and how everything has a connection and how it's interconnected. And that is also um, kind of shown in the, the cross reference in the back, as you can see. So you can look up uh, specific information. So this section talks about trees and then it talks about all the different kinds of trees and what pages you'll find information about that tree and how it's connected with other correspondences. I really like that. Um, it has, there's information about the Zodiac in here and everything that's connected to it. Most of the books, book you'll find is done in chart form and I'll give the main title. So say we're looking at Saturn and this would be a, the deity Saturn and not the planet. And then in the book, we can see it's the God of Agriculture and Workers. It's a Roman. And its solar system, of course, is going to be Saturn. Uh, it has celebrations. Uh, so we have Saturnala and Yule. Trees, Cypress, Holly, Yule. Plants, the Mandrake and Myrrh. The Zodiac is Capricorn. The day of the week is Saturday, of course. The number two. Herb and garden is grape, ivy, and lavender. The birds are crow, raven, and wren. And then it has a little um, explanation at the bottom with issues, intentions, and powers. So it kind of gives you some key words here so you can understand what you would and how you would honor Saturn or ask for help. And that would include abundance, agriculture, animals, beginnings, determination, learning, and prosperity. So each section is set up in this kind of form. And so say you were doing ritual work and you wanted to find information about learning. So you would look in the back under learning and then you would see, oh, these are the deities that reflect learning. And then Saturn would be one of these deities that would be listed. And you can go in here, turn the page and find out more about Saturn and how you would use them in your ritual. So I really like how this book is laid out. I've used this book a thousand times. My original copy was actually an ebook. They still do have the ebook. They offer the ebook at Kindle and Google Play at the same price point right now at 1619. 
It is only comes in a paperback. And this price point for this paperback is somewhere between twenty and twenty-five dollars, depending on where you find the the book. So, in my opinion, I think this is a good basic book that every pagan and Wicca, witch, whatever you want to call yourself, should have in her library, especially if you do your own spell writing and your own ritual writing. This is a great way to kind of confirm that your associations are correct and going in the right direction. It'll help you with timing of rituals. It'll help you with maybe um, maybe you're doing a ritual and you, you're, you're out of something. You don't have time to go to the store, order online or whatever. You can pick up this book and see what is an appropriate substitute. I love this book for that. So this is definitely well worth the money at $25 for new, $16.19 on an, as an ebook. And I'm sure that like any books out there, you can find them at the half price stores or you could find them on, um, I know Amazon sells used books as well. Sometimes you can find it there. Um, so if you're looking at something, a smaller price point, you could consider a used book. But I would encourage you to get a new book. You're going to use this book and you're going to use it often. It's well worth the money to have a new copy. So if this review helped you make a decision whether you should have this book or maybe add it to your collection, consider a subscription. And I hope you have a very magical day. And until we meet next time, bless be.